Welcome everybody, I am Dive Bar Gamer, and this is Hogwarts Legacy. This is the game of games in 2023. It was definitely my favorite. I'll be playing with my character, Ahsoka Tano. Named after my favorite Star Wars character, Ahsoka's the best. And you'll get to see the inside of the castle, you get to see everything, the entire game, including the final repository at the very end. It's awesome. So everybody buckle up, sit down, relax, grab a beer, grab a soda, grab your girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever, cuddle up on the couch, and get ready for an amazing entertainment adventure. That's Leaving London, Ahsoka and Professor Fig hop on a flying stagecoach. A ministry wizard named George gives Professor Fig and Ahsoka a mysterious cylinder. It turns out that this cylinder is imbued with something called ancient magic. During the ride in the sky, Ahsoka learns that she can actually see this ancient magic. A magic that glows blue. After our ride is cut short by a very aggressive dragon with a fiery red collar, we arrive at an unknown location in Scotland to enter Gringotts Bank before landing again in the Scottish Highlands at Hogwarts. Ahsoka and Professor Fig try to piece together what has happened and eventually end up in a massive chamber where a pensieve is waiting. During this time, we get to meet Ranrock, a dark elf who has a real problem with humans. I was right. Meet Ranrock, a goblin with an insatiable thirst for power. With an innate ability to wield magic with or without a wand, Ranrock's greed knows no bounds. He spends countless hours studying ancient and forbidden spells, eager to gain the upper hand. Ranrock began a rebellion in an effort to obliterate all wizards and witches. Ranrock's ultimate goal? To rule over the wizarding world as its one and only supreme leader. Eventually, after dodging a huge moving statue, Fig and Ahsoka apparate just outside of Hogwarts Castle. Just in time for the sorting ceremony. And that's where I pick up the story. Are you alright? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come, we have a sorting ceremony to get to. Once there was a young man, like you, sat in this very hall, walked this castle's corridor, stepped under a tree, seemed to all the world a student like any other. His name? Tom Riddle. Today, of course, he's known all over the world by another name. Which is why, as I stand looking out upon you all tonight, I'm reminded of a sobering fact. Every day, every hour, this very minute, Dark forces attempt to penetrate this castle's wall. But in the end, their greatest weapon is you. you, you, you. Okay, I'm trying to be I'm trying to get to be a Ravenclaw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ravenclaw, baby! So, we are a Ravenclaw now. Except house. Cool. You belong in Ravenclaw! 
Known for their wit and their thirst for knowledge, Ravenclaw students are renowned scholars. Riddles are not only their favorite pastime, but also an expression of their sharp intellect. But don't be fooled, Ravenclaws know how to have fun too. These blue and silver clad individuals are an essential part of the vibrancy that is the wizarding world. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Yep, you heard it right. That son of a bitch has cancelled Quidditch. But never fear, they still have the Quidditch pitch set up and we can go out there and play later on. <laughs> Legend has it that the castle was built over a millennium ago by a skilled wizard known as Godric Gryffindor. Another theory suggests that Helga Hufflepuff, one of the four founding members of Hogwarts school, had a hand in its construction. Yeah, yeah. Oh, morning. <laughs> you like can't cancel gone. Quidditch. Better head to the common room. Dude, I'm... I was looking forward to, to playing Quidditch in this game, and... Look at that, there's a poster on this wall. That sucks. Uh, but this is awesome. Look at this, man. This is exactly what I thought it would look like. Um, I've read the books multiple times, all of the Harry Potter books. And they don't, they kind of go into the Ravenclaw common room just a tad, a little bit. Um, but this is so cool. The Ravenclaw common room, where the castle meets the sky, astrophysics, nerds, and puzzles. That's what you'll get in the common room here in Ravenclaw Tower. This is so sweet. Dude. That's just brilliant, Ami. Brilliant. <laughs> this should be interesting. Oh, yeah. Look at this, dude. <laughs> Look at the ceiling. It's got, um, it's got little sparkles. Like stars and constellations up there. As we step into the Ravenclaw common room, you can't help but be mesmerized by the ambiance. The room is filled with an aura of wisdom and intellect, designed with seek blue accents and adorned with intricate artwork. The focal point of the room is the grand fireplace, where Ravenclaws gather to share stories and engage in intellectual discussions. It's the perfect spot to curl up with a good book or exchange ideas with your fellow housemates. Surrounded by towering bookcases, the common room provides an endless supply of knowledge at your fingertips. Whether you want to research magical theories or dive into the history of famous witches and wizards, this is the place to be. OWLs. Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. OWLs. You know I'm going to ace way. those OWLs, right? I'm going to crush those owls. Hold up, lady. Introducing Matilda Weasley, an exceptionally talented witch. As the Transfiguration Professor, Matilda showcases her mastery of the art. Her skill and dedication inspire students to push their limits. Matilda encourages critical thinking and creativity in her classroom. But she's not just a professor, she's also the deputy headmistress. Matilda plays a crucial role in shaping the future of Hogwarts legacy. Let's, let's go, lady. Can I just go off on my own? I just want to explore this castle. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. You know, all these professors keep telling me to focus on my classes, and I haven't even been to one class yet. <laughs> Sounds like we're going to go to Hogsmeade today and get a new one, so I'm excited for that. Hogwarts Castle is filled with countless secrets and magical wonders waiting to be discovered. From its grand halls to its hidden passageways, every corner of the castle holds a new adventure. As I explore the castle, I'll keep an eye out for random events that occur at any moment. These events can range from encountering fellow students seeking assistance to stumbling upon mysterious artifacts. If I interact with the random characters I come across, they might offer side quests, share valuable information, or just simply want to talk about their pets or whatever. I'm in Hogwarts! I have finally made it! Yes! Yes, dude. Kind of a cool dragon statue, and we just got students hanging out, chilling, relaxing, being cool. Better not be smoking that grass at school. I will catch you. Just kidding, I will probably participate. Man, whoa, look at those creepy eye, th eye things. What are those? I don't even know. Let's begin this quest. Is that all you've got? 
You'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. Before becoming a respected professor at Hogwarts, Professor Hecate served as an unspeakable at the Ministry of Magic. That's right, an unspeakable. It's as cool as it sounds. Unspeakables worked in the Department of Mysteries and were strictly forbidden to speak about their work. Hence the name Unspeakables. As a fellow Ravenclaw, this badass lady helps Ahsoka along her journey. Okay, we are learning Levioso. Uh, the spell where you can make people levitate. I thought it was Leviosa. <laughs> like, like Hermione says, it's Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Got it. <laughs> yeah, baby, beat him some more. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Sebastian, a charming extroverted boy, always the center of attention. He embraces every moment with a gleaming smile on his face. His twin sister Anne, unfortunately, has a mysterious curse that plagues her every step. From an early age, he mastered the unforgivable curses. As a Slytherin, old Savvy has many issues. It is usually just a hot mess. Behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best professor. Show us how it's done. And release. Very good. Oh, too, too much. much, too much. And really Oh, way too much. <laughs> Not doing too good. Ooh, yeah, 50, baby. That was a good one. Okay. We got a little competition here. Here we go. Okay. Not bad, not bad. There we go. 30 points. Good job, Onai. My opponent is Natty Onai, a wise, quick-witted Gryffindor. Natty grew up in Africa where she attended Wagadu, the largest wizarding school in the world. She transferred to Hogwarts when her mother became the Hogwarts Divination Professor. Ahsoka and Natty will develop a long-lasting friendship during the game. Stop, 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 stop. No, no, no! Happens to the best of us. No! Zero. Oh my god. Okay, she won. This is the clock tower, and it's got the clock thing swinging. That's so sick, just like the movies. This magnificent clock tower, home to the giant swinging pendulum, suffered significant damage during the Battle of Hogwarts. The clock's face was nearly obliterated, and the clock mechanism was badly damaged. But amidst the chaos and destruction, an inspiring tale of unity and bravery emerged. The clock tower, although battered, stood tall. A resilient symbol reminding us all of the sacrifices right, made for the greater good. Dueling club. Okay, now knock him down. There we go. I will be back, my friend. If if everyone is that easy, then y'all are suckers, man. Y'all are done. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set up? Butterbeer is a delicious wizarding beverage. It is served at numerous locations and has a very slight alcohol content. You may be wondering, were Hogwarts students drinking alcohol? The answer is yes, uh, sort of. The alcohol content is super low, like 1.7%, compared to a normal beer, which is at 4%. So you'd have to drink uh, pretty much every single butterbeer in the pub to even feel a little buzzed. Yeah, I, I would enjoy a butter beer, dude. I love beer. I, cannot I know butter beer doesn't have alcohol, but we can uh, we can bring that ourselves. <laughs> Grave mistake to take it as Getting drunk at Hogsmeade. <laughs> Lace wing flies. Let's collect. Oh look at that! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is this is awesome! Wow. That's the railroad over there for the train for the Hogwarts Express. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. 
Located just a short distance from Hogwarts School, Hogsmeade Village has served as a bustling hub for witches and wizards for centuries. This enchanting village offers a fascinating blend of ancient traditions and modern delights. The entryway is awesome. Look at this, man. What? And here we are. From its quaint cottages to its charming shops, Hogsmeade Village is a place where magic is woven into every corner. As you stroll through Hogsmeade Village, you'll come across several enchanting shops like Zonko's, where you can find all sorts of magical pranks and tricks. And don't miss Honeydukes, where you can satisfy your sweet tooth with a vast array of delectable wizarding treats. But Hogsmeade Village isn't just about shops and eateries, it holds hidden secrets waiting to be discovered. I changed up my character, um, I did a video about character creation, like a 10 minute video. Go and check that out, check out that video and you can see my new character right here. Ahsoka Tano, I still kept the name, but she, she looks a little bit different. But let's let's get started with these missions here in Hogsmeade so we can, you know, continue the awesome story of Hogwarts Legacy. During my time up here in Hogsmeade, I have to visit four different shops. Tomes and Scrolls, Ollivander's Wand Shop, Pippin's Potion Shop, and the Magic Neep. This village is set up so you can enter almost every single building in the village. Some buildings are just there for show, but most of them you can unlock and go in later in the game. As you walk around and explore the village, random events may happen, so I'll have to keep a keen eye on what's going on around me and see if I can find any cool magical oh, look, a little kitty cat. Hey, buddy. Hey, look at you, you little cutie. That's awesome. Okay, let's talk to Timothy Teasdale. Oh, did you see that? There's another page. <laughs> I'm racking these things up. Other than quests, field guide pages are the only way that you can earn experience in this game. I'll need to find more to level up, which gets me better gear, gain more health, and unlock more quests and badass spells. Field guide pages are spread out throughout the entire map, and you'll see me collect many field guide pages. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. Let me buy some Dittany seeds. Dittany seed. Here we go, purchase. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients wow. to pique your interest, Unlocks don't Unlocks the ability you? to grow flux weed in large pots. Okay. I don't have enough money for that. At Timothy's shop, the Magic Neep, I'll be able to buy ingredients or seeds for a huge grow room that later on in the game I build up in the room of requirement. All right, the apothecary's right here. Let's go inside. Welcome to Jay Pippin's Potion. Jay Pippin's Potion Shop is the best and only place to buy potions in Hogsmeade. Purchasing potions from him allows you to create and make your own potions later on in the game up in the room of requirement. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, who's that? Hey, bro. How are you, Gryffindor? Uh, Perry Pippin. <laughs> All right, let's talk to this guy. Well, Perry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. What can I do for you today? You can sell me some potions. All well, these are really expensive, man. I don't have this much money. Today. I only have 58. 58 gold coins are... It's good talking to you, bro. Thanks for the potions. I will be back. Peace. Tomes and Scrolls, a specialty bookshop that sells conjuration spells and herbology tables. My boy Thomas Brown owns and runs this quaint bookshop. Oh, there's something. There's something on this desk. Whoa, what the heck? Secret staircase? That's red. Okay, before I talk to this guy, I want to go up this secret staircase. What is up here? Hey, there's a page. I got it. Yes, dude. Each time that happens, I get um, XP and stuff. More money. We got money. Money, money, money. All right, let's talk to this guy. Let's go. Let's get. Let's get this going. Yep, potion station. This is what we want. Gracias, uh, potting table with small pot spellcraft. Yeah. Thomas Brown. You the man. Okay, up next, Ollivanders! We get to go design a new wand! Get a cool wand. I want to I wanna design one that looks kind of like the Elder one, you know? And I'm sure 
sure everybody that plays this is doing the same thing. For centuries, the Ollivander family has been crafting wands of unparalleled quality, ensuring that every witch and wizard finds their perfect match. But did you know that the Ollivanders have been in the business since the ancient Roman era? Their expertise and craftsmanship have been passed down through generations, ensuring that each wand is made with the utmost care and precision. Now, you might be wondering, does the wand design affect the gameplay? Well, unfortunately, it doesn't. But fear not, the Ollivander family's dedication to their craft goes far beyond mere gameplay mechanics. Each wand is a work of art, crafted to perfection to reflect the uniqueness and personality of its owner. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um... Just a moment, please. This is gonna be my forever wand. Whatever I design right here, right now. <laughs> Should we just make it like a, a super long one? 14 inches? Yeah, yeah. Curious Whippy. indeed. <laughs> Pliant. Brittle. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Stiff. Um, I don't know yet. Maybe we can come back to it, How you know, once we know more about it. Uh, yeah, let's purchase it. Cool. What do you think? Yeah, it's really long. It's so long. <laughs> That's what she said. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> I got my wand. I got my wand. Can we, uh, can I look at it? Yeah, look at it. <laughs> Nice. I'm sure down the road we'll be able to make changes to it. Or, you know, level it up or something. Oh, is this a spinny globe? Spinny globe! Unfortunately, the wand design does not affect anything at all. In fact, throughout the game, you never get to customize the wand again. It has no bearing on gameplay at all in any way whatsoever. Back when I played this game, I thought that maybe you could level up the wand and give it different abilities and stuff. But that's all wrong, and my hopes were dashed when I found that out. My next destination is Hogsmeade Square, where I will meet up with Sebastian Sallow. Old Savvy B, I'm coming, bubba. <laughs> Look at what this guy's wearing. <laughs> what a douche. <laughs> he thinks he looks so cool, but he been, no, he doesn't right here. Sebastian, bro, what up? What up, my dude? I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Yo! What is this, dude? What is this guy? Troll! Let's get rid of this guy, man. Keep at it. <laughs> it's like a huge troll. Alright, dodge. There are 11 different types of trolls in Hogwarts Legacy, each with their own difficulty level. Throughout the game, I will be battling these massive monsters. One good thing about the trolls is that when you do defeat one, and that's very rare, you can use the slimy bogeys to craft the very handy invisibility potion later on in the game. Come on, baby. I almost got him. Save Hogsmeade! For Hogsmeade! For Hogsmeade! Expelliarmus! Woo! Suck a D, troll. Damn, that was so cool. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Although those trolls did destroy quite a bit of Hogsmeade, the witches and wizards gathered together and repaired most of the damage done. Now, the reason why the trolls were in Hogsmeade was part of a larger plan by Ranrock. He let them loose in Hogsmeade as a distraction, and we'll learn more about Ranrock's plan later on. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Oh, there's Sebastian right there. Let's look around the shop for a bit. This is really cool. Gladrag's Wizard Wear is an ancient clothing shop run by Augustus Hill. Augustus is a relentless and very positive salesman who can make unflattering attire sound desirable. I use this shop a lot, trying to find the perfect cloak or scarf to go with an outfit. 
The clothing options change every few days, and right now I'm way too low of a level to buy anything good. A creepy skeleton, man. That thing is weird. Here we go. What do we get? So we got some money. Spinny globe. Oh yeah, man. I've seen these chests around. And you have to have a spell that I don't have yet, and I'm not high enough level to even access these things. Some of the most commonly found chests in the game are called Disillusionment Chests, or Eye Chests. To open an Eye Chest, I'll need to level up some more until I get the Disillusionment Charm. Really cool. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Who are you? What's, what's your name? Sebastian and Augustus Hill. I own Gladrags, Wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And oh yeah, each one has different stats. Dude, this is gonna be sweet. Okay. Anyway, good talking to you, bro. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. All right, Sebastian. Are we headed to go get some beers? Let's go get some beers. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? Meet Victor Rookwood. This dude comes from a long family operated criminal empire. He took over the crime ring at 22 years old and quickly grew it, becoming so successful that the other smaller gangs joined up. After his father's suspicious death, Victor and his gang focused on robbing travelers, smuggling rare beasts, and forcing protection money from Hogsmeade shopkeepers. Although Victor was directly responsible for all the crimes being committed, the Ministry wouldn't do anything about it, either for political reasons or the fact that they may be scared of his ever-growing popularity with dangerous gang members. All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. The Three Broomsticks. It first opened its doors way back in 1452 and quickly became a favorite spot for magical folk looking for a cozy place to relax. Over the years, the Three Broomsticks pub has witnessed countless memorable moments, from celebrations to whispered secrets. Its warm and inviting atmosphere makes it the perfect place to grab a drink with friends or enjoy a delicious meal. The pub is also famous for its signature butter beer, a sweet and frothy beverage that has become a must try for any visitor. Me and Ahsoka will be spending a lot of time up in the Three Broomsticks, eating food, taking shots, <laughs> giving people high fives. A lot of high fives going around in the Three Broomsticks. What's this over here? I can interact with something. Back in 993 AD, Hengist of Woodcroft founded Hogsmeade Village. Hengist, fleeing from Muggle persecution, needed somewhere safe for himself and other persecuted magical folk. So he designed a village made only for magical folk. Hengist died some point during the Middle Ages, but he was immortalized on a chocolate frog card. There's also a bust of Hengist on the fourth floor corridor of Hogwarts Castle, and a statue up in Hogsmeade Village Square. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights, but we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. All right, we're almost there. A lot of stairs in this castle, though. Professor Fig, where are you at, bro? All right, it looks like we're going into the office here. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Oh, but... 
If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. You know, maybe grab a handful of peanuts, take a chug, 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 chug. Three broomsticks, pretty much empty and dead right now, except for this guy right here. Hey man, gonna buy you a shot? Shot and a beer? Go away. Huh, no, he doesn't want to talk. Anyways, yes, like I said, we are in Hogsmeade. We are gonna leave the three broomsticks here, go right around the corner, come up here to Zonko's Joke Shop. We're gonna explore this place, maybe buy some cool stuff. I don't know, it'll be fun. Then from there, we're gonna go to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. Spa day at the Dress Emporium. We're gonna change our hair style, maybe do some coloring, I don't know. Who knows what we're gonna do there. Then after that, wizard wear. We're gonna buy some new cloaks. We're gonna get some new gear. Some new Nikes, who knows? Uh, then up here, right over here, this is called Hogsmeade Square and the famous Honey Dukes. We're gonna get a sugar high on. So that will be our plan. Then after all that's done, we gotta go back to the castle. We gotta attend class. We gotta do our first Herbology class because I have an aptitude for Herbology. Hopefully we won't be late. So let's get her done, let's go. You, sh you sure you don't want a shot? Random guy. Yeah. He, he looks like he doesn't need any more. <laughs> All right, let's go get this done. You know, I really wish Fred and George were with me to go to Zonko's. It doesn't seem right without them. Okay, everyone ready to go in? Let's go in. Get ready to unleash your mischievous side as we step into Zonko's joke shop. As you enter Zonko's, you are immediately greeted with an explosion of color and laughter. This place is a haven for every prankster and trickster out there. You'll find shelves overflowing with endless varieties of magical jokes, potions, and enchantments that are guaranteed to leave everyone in stitches. Okay, I can interact with this. <laughs> that is kind of freaky. Uh, you know, I gotta admit, I don't really like that one. Here's another student. What's up, man? What are you looking for? What can I get you? I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't work here. <laughs> oh, man, this is so tempting. Don't do it, don't do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Snells. Old Snells. That's what I call her. Madame Snellings. Madame Snellings Tress Emporium. Or like I like to call her, Old Snells. Here you can get your hair done. You can change your hair, you can change the style, you can change the color. The shop is really cool. It's got really cool tile on the floor. There's... Really not much else going on in this shop. You can't really do anything except get your hair cut. What is it you might be interested in? What do you think? It's a fucking barbershop here. I'm interested in getting my hair cut. <laughs> no, I want you to make me a pie. This game features an extensive character creator. You can choose from various hair, color, facial, and clothing options to create your perfect avatar. Make things more interesting by designing a Harry Potter lookalike, or go for the dark side and create a Draco Malfoy looking dude. Throughout the game, you'll notice the same haircut on some of the NPCs. Like, you'll walk by a girl in the hall and she's got the same haircut as you. It's kinda weird, but you know, whatever. Here we go. Honey Dukes, that's where we're going next. Let's go in. The moment you step inside, you're transported into a world of sugary enchantment. Honey Dukes is known for its extraordinary variety of sweets and candies. Whether you have a sweet tooth or not, this place is bound to satisfy every craving. From chocolate frogs to acid pops, they have it all. One of the more popular treats in Honey Dukes is the legendary chocolate wand. It's a delicious combination of creamy chocolate and pure magic. And don't forget about the ever-famous Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. You never know what flavor you'll get. It could be something scrumptious like strawberry or something bizarre like earwax. That is Dumbledore's favorite flavor. Look at these pastries. <laughs> wow. Dude, she could drink beer and just she just scarfed that whole piece of cake right there. Like no problem in two bites. Ahsoka, you are a beast. Whatever this is, I'm gonna eat it. Yes. <laughs> Those must be the jelly beans. Oh man, that was awesome. Yeah, caught candy. 
What? What is... Is that like a, an enormous cotton candy? A gigantic cotton candy? A lot of candy in my belly right now. Augustus. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. What do we got? I am gonna take my time. I wanna know what you have here. We're gonna equip that temporarily. Just for the points. Just for the bump. Just for the buff right here. My girl Ahsoka is looking fly. <laughs> she's she's actually looking kind of weird. Okay, we're gonna head back to the castle for herbology class. And brought back, sir. But we've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times? Are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir. We'd never take more than those. I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. Now that is a great example of a random event happening in this game. I'm telling you, you gotta stop fast traveling everywhere and walk. You'll miss out on awesome stuff. Those two kids stole some stuff from Zonko's shop, probably some firecrackers or something. They stole it, and the owner kicked them out, and they were on their butts out on the dirt. It is awesome. This game is so much fun! Herbology! Okay, we're almost there. This is definitely the greenhouses. I don't know who the teacher is. I've... Not really come in the greenhouse very much, so this is all going to be new. Oh, man. I was wondering where that big-ass tree was going to be, and here it is. It is beautiful. Cool. All right. There is a classroom in here. Let's go. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. With her kind and caring nature, Professor Garlic has become a beacon of positivity at Hogwarts School. Her sunny demeanor and genuine passion for plants and magical properties make her a truly inspiring figure for students and colleagues alike. As the Professor of Herbology, Professor Garlic's knowledge and expertise in this subject are second to none. Through her meticulous guidance, she instills in her students a deep appreciation for the world of plants, teaching them how to nurture and understand the intricacies of magical herbs. Oh, shit, I threw it way over there. Whoa! Okay. So you can, like, you can, like, throw out a whole bunch of plants all at once. I didn't know that. Okay, let's move on. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Professor Aesop Sharp, a name known by many but understood by few, his stride burdened by unspoken injury tells a tale of resilience and determination. But don't be fooled by the limp. Professor Sharp has no patience for fools, no reverence for mediocrity. He challenges his students to discover their true potential. He pushes them beyond their limits, for he believes in the power of excellence. Sharp's piercing gaze scrutinizes every move. He demands perfection, never settling for anything less. Here we go, we're gonna cook this Wigan Weld potion up. Brewing time, 14 seconds, 13 seconds. Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah. Oh no! Gareth! What's going on? Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> That's hilarious. Well done, yeah. Who do you see us? Oh, this is Samantha. I like her too. I like Samantha and I like Professor Garlic. We got 260 XP for that. That's awesome. Step inside this enchanted gathering place where students from all four houses unite to dine and socialize. As you enter the great hall, look up and prepare to be mesmerized. The ceiling is enchanted, mirroring the skies from dusk till dawn. Whether it's a starry night or a golden sunrise, the Great Hall ceiling sets the tone for every magical gathering. But the enchantment doesn't stop there. 
As you take your seat, notice the warm glow that fills the room. Hundreds of floating candles illuminate the space, casting a soft and ethereal light on every face. The Great Hall truly feels like you've stepped into a dream. Good morning, Hogwarts! And what a beautiful morning it is. I thought I'd come down from my dormitory, get some light breakfast, maybe some bacon and eggs. Look at all this food though, holy crap. They got so much food up here. They got like turkey legs, everything. We are gonna meet my friend Natty, Natty Okai. She's been waiting down here, like I said last episode, she's been waiting way down here at this. They call it a hamlet, I call it a village. But we are gonna leave the Great Hall and go see her down here. As I make my way outside the castle, the map finally opens up. I'll be able to travel to various hamlets scattered throughout the world, where friendly merchants offer a wide array of magical items to enhance my journey. I'll be able to embark on thrilling side quests that test my magical abilities and unlock valuable rewards. But the adventure doesn't stop there. Uncover ancient collectibles that hold secrets from Hogwarts' rich history. See the treacherous beauty of the Forbidden Forest where danger lurks behind every tree. I'll fly across the sparkling waters of the Black Lake, and I might even encounter a magnificent sea creature beneath the dark water's surface. Invisible Thestrials, monstrous trolls, and nasty spiders are just a few of the creatures I might come across while I'm out in the field. To see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there. And I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? As you just saw right there, you have the option to pick what you say during a conversation. You can either lie to your friends or tell them the truth. And I chose to lie that time to Natty. I may come to regret that later on. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to- Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stay with her. Yo, I just realized I don't have any of my armor on. Anything right now. They don't matter. I can take these guys out. They are but little problems. Finally, I get to fight some guys. The combat system can be a little confusing at first, as you will see in this battle. But I'm telling you, once you figure it out, things just click into place. There are 67 different types of enemies spread out across the Scottish Highlands. Some are very dangerous creatures, and some are little tiny puny humans. The enemy I'm about to fight is an Ashwinder duelist. These quick and clever witches will knock you on your ass while flinging back-to-back -back curses. There are a total of six different Ashwinder baddies that I will eventually have to fight, each with their own skills and fighting styles. Are you alright? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area, I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. Merlin Trials are annoying puzzles that can be found throughout the eight regions outside the castle. Although Merlin Trials might be the most lucrative of challenges, they are extremely time-consuming. Completing them can earn you additional inventory slots, which is always a good thing, but I hate them. I just hate them. This is my first Merlin trial, and most likely the easiest in the game, and still I struggle with it. Am I supposed to solve it for you? I thought you've been working on this for years, and I'm just gonna solve it right now today for you. Okay, so all I did was just light all three of these on fire. That was it. You just have to light them on fire, and then this thing popped up. Wow, that lady sucks at her job, pretty much. Sorry, sorry to say that. Look at this. The students are out here flying kites. This is so cool. I love how random events pop up in this game all the time. That's really cool. We have to go back into the castle and go to Professor Hecat's assignment number two. We gotta finish this one. All I have to do is go in there and talk to her. She's gonna teach me the disarming charm. So I'm excited about that. It's called Ex. <laughs> I mean, this was legendary in the Harry Potter, you know, universe. It's like his main go-to. To drive out a weapon, 
is the rough translation of the charm Expelliarmus, and it certainly can do that. With great force, the charm disarms your opponent, leaving them defenseless. As we all know, this was a favorite of my boy HP, but, but the spell was well known throughout the wizarding world. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Spell casting requires a focused mind okay, here and we go. a steady wand. Careful, careful, hit that corner, yeah. Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. Pretty easy. Okay, let's see what another quest is. Ollivander's heirloom. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is up in Hogsmeade, so... More walking. Here we go. Yo, bitch, where are you at? I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. Investigate the Alry. Okay, sweet. We're going to the Alry finally. This is the first branching path in terms of main quest lines. Each house has a unique quest relating to Richard Jackdaw's ghost. And also, each house has slightly different quests. And in order to complete them all, you have to play the game as all four houses. It sounds like a lot of playtime, but once your first playthrough is done, it goes much quicker. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. All right, I gotta do the summoning charge or summoning charm on you. Oh yeah, okay, that pulls it out. There's little handles right here. No, what are you doing? Get back up. She's trying to go back down the ladder. Get your ass back up. The day is not done. You look at her with her sun hat. She just thinks she runs this place. No, you're not done. Pull that one out. Nothing. Mm, nothing. Nothing no again. Statues here. Oh my god, she's going down the ladder again. Alright, I gotta move. I gotta move. I gotta get away from that ladder. She wants to go down. Hey, what's this? Map with floating candles? Oh, it's a treasure map. Yeah, I tried to figure out one of these off camera. And I'm such an idiot. It took me forever. There are seven treasure maps you can complete as you play through Hogwarts Legacy. These mysterious maps are hand-drawn on a random piece of parchment. They are located all over the Scottish Highlands. Solving these take time and more than a little effort. <laughs> so we're definitely not going to do that today. All right, I'll see you at the Forbidden Forest. The Forbidden Forest is a place full of enigma and danger. This ancient forest is home to a variety of dangerous creatures, including giant spiders, centaurs, and of course, goblins. As you venture deeper into the forest, you can't help but feel a sense of trepidation. So far, it looks very spooky. Look at these rabid chickens. The dense foliage hides countless mysteries and possible perils. This is not a place for the faint-hearted. Only the brave and wise should dare venture within its ancient borders. This is where I'm supposed to meet Richard Jackdaw. Dick Jackdaw. <laughs> Keep your eyes open for a bird bath. When you find it, say Inframuros. I think it's Latin. With its dense vegetation, towering trees, and hidden pathways, these dark woods create a sense of awe and wonder, making every step a breathtaking adventure. But beware, danger lurks around every corner, and I'll need to summon all my magical prowess to navigate through the forest unscathed. Here it is. Here's the bird bath. Found it. Found it. Finally. Intramuros. Right in front of my nose. Before I go into the cave, I'll have to defeat a few of Randrock's goblins, and I may also run into some spiders along the way. The goblins are easy to defeat, but the spiders, they're a little bit tougher. I should check to make sure I'm wearing better gear because this cave is massive. It's more like a tomb, actually. Yeah, let's go into this cave. Hell yeah. This is why we came. Jack Doss tomb, here we go. We're gonna pick these mushrooms. They look awesome. They're kind of purpley. They look different than the normal mushrooms. Bats, look at the bats. 
There are many different spiders spread out all over the map. Shooter spiders will fire at you, scurriers will attack you close up and also dig under the earth and pop up somewhere. Hatchlings are fast and annoying and are usually running across walls and ceilings. And the matriarch spider is the biggest and toughest of them all. They'll all take a lot of damage from Incendio, but they're fast and agile. I'll have to use Levioso to immobilize them, though that spell won't work on a matriarch, so I'll have to get a little creative. There's one behind me. Moonstone. Deeper inside, I'll have to work my way through the caves. Basically, I'm trying to repair the bridge to the map cave by hitting the round gold locks with a spell. I'll also need to traverse the floating platforms. I can use Accio to move them around, and when you're on them, you can use Accio on one of the other platforms, usually embedded in the walls. Oh shit! Oh my god! All right, we got some platforming to do. Can I pull that one towards me? Oh, here we go, yeah. Well, that was the easiest one of all. Let's go up on top of this bridge, cross the bridge finally. It's, it's all the way built, so we can go across the bridge and hopefully fight our first boss. This would be my first boss. Oh, it's gotta be a boss fight, man. Yeah, we've got to fight 10 of these, man. Okay, here we go. Inside this chamber, I'll have to fight a few ancient defenders. These guys are insane, super tough to beat. If you remember, we fought one at the very beginning of the game with Professor Fig. But a good way to defeat them is to use Expelliarmus on them. This will temporarily make their weapons disappear but they will soon summon new ones. So I'll have to use the time they are disarmed to attack them with regular attacks. What? This is so cool. Dude, I'm like in a bubble underneath the water. The Keepers are a small group of witches and wizards who were devoted to guarding the secrets of ancient magic. They built the map chamber beneath Hogwarts Castle, which served as a home for their portraits and a gateway to the Keeper's caverns below. The team was led by Percival Wackham, and its members included Charles Workwood, Naima Fitzgerald, and San Bacar, all of whom were professors at Hogwarts School. The Keepers have an instrumental role in safeguarding the two unknown ancient magic repositories that exist in the world one beneath Rookwood Castle, and another in the Keeper's Caverns beneath Hogwarts Castle. Although they are only talking portraits, they seem to be much more intuitive than your regular portraits, able to have a conversation and a very long memory. The Keepers will play a vital role in upcoming events. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. You know, how do you get this far into the cave and it's like, do you have the book? And she's like, nope. <laughs> I just, I just throw up my arms and I'm like, nah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. Uninstall. Good morning, Hogwarts. Uh, for some reason, Ahsoka was sleeping on the ground <laughs> and not in her bed. It's morning at Hogwarts. Another beautiful day is ahead of us. In the shadow of the Undercroft and the Room of Requirement. That one's going to be sweet. I can't wait to play that one. After that, we're going to head up to Hogsmeade. And guess what? We get to buy a broom. Look at that. She looks like an, an adventurer. Look at those boots, man. They got those laces all the way down. If you leave Hogwarts Castle and venture out into the wild, you'll end up coming across many different gear types. These are pieces of equipment that Ahsoka can wear to improve her defensive capabilities, resistances, and multiple bonus effects and status effects. There are six different gear slots available, and they are hand, face, head, neck, cloaks, robes, and outfits. All pieces of gear also have different rarities, and they are color-coded. Green for well-appointed, blue for superb, purple for extraordinary, and orange for legendary. Some pieces of gear can be upgraded, and some gear is only for show. I think we're gonna go and buy the broom first. 
We were gonna we we're gonna do those missions first, but I think the broom is necessary. Yes, no? Okay, I don't know any of these people. Let's head up to Hogsmeade. There are 13 unique brooms available in Hogwarts Legacy. While most of them can be purchased from various vendors scattered across the world, unique brooms can only be acquired by completing challenges. These brooms are definitely the most difficult to acquire, but if you spend all your galleons at Honeydukes, the challenges are the way to go. Let's go inside, see what's up. Hey, how are you? How you doing? I'm gonna buy a broom. I'm gonna look around your shop for a bit, is that all right, bro? Spent Witch's Sporting Needs is run by the cheerful Albie Weeks. This shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. I'll be able to upgrade my broom and buy others later on in the game. What are we looking for today? Well, I have no clue, man. This is my first time buying a broom. Ember Dash Broom, the perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a pretty chill guy, so I don't, you know, I don't have a fiery temperament. Moon Trimmer Broom, that sounds cool. Finally crafted from ash, this broom is built for stability. Yeah, this one, Moon Trimmer Broom. Plus, that sounds cool. Moon Trimmer. Purchase. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Okay, so we've entered the area that allows flight. Press L1 and tap circle to equip the broom. Oh, what did I just do? I just turned myself into stone. <laughs> it looks like a freaking, like a mummy or a zombie. L1 and then circle. Yes! Look at, it's got a little light on it. <laughs> it's got a little headlight. Oh, I love that. Flying a broom in Hogwarts Legacy is one of the best things about the game. You get to experience the game in a very different way. The sky. I'll now be able to reach parts of the map I wasn't able to reach before. The only downfall is that there are some parts of the map where you can't go. The entire village of Hogsmeade is a no-fly zone meaning you can't fly in between the buildings or anything. You have to land outside the village and enter on foot. But being a Ravenclaw, I have a secret entrance into the Hogwarts castle. It's located on top of the Ravenclaw tower, and I'll show it to you later on in the game. All right, we're gonna head into the castle. Let's hit it. I have no idea what the Undercroft is. I've never heard There's of it. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. I love me a secret passage though. What? It's like a cabinet. Oh, this is gonna be cool. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Who's he talking about? Ominous? I wonder who that is. Let's look around this room for a little bit. Ooh, chest. Cool, we got a scarf. The Undercroft is a hidden chamber located beneath Hogwarts School. Steeped in mystique, this underground space holds secrets that I have yet to discover. Rumored to have been built in the early days of the school, the Undercroft is kind of a storage unit of ancient artifacts and random stuff. Protected by powerful enchantments, the Gaunt family has kept it a mystery for centuries. With its dark and eerie ambiance, the Undercroft is also rumored to be home to mythical creatures. Wizards and witches have whispered tales of encountering creatures like Nifflers, Bow Truckles, and even the elusive Gnarl lurking within its depths. <laughs> Not really, uh, just kidding, but the Undercroft is kind of boring, and a Niffler would really spice it up. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But That's it. Cool, we're lighting I up these candelabras. That spell I just used is called Confringo, a fiery damage spell. This spell is powerful. It can send a bolt of flame at a distant target, setting it on fire and dealing damage. It will break the red shield charms used by some enemies, and it also works well when used against Inferius. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Feldcroft, that's a, a village way, way south. 
way south of here. That'll be kind of fun. I'm starting to like this Sebastian guy a little bit more. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. Born into a family deeply rooted in dark magic, Ominous finds himself shackled to a legacy he's never asked for. But unlike his ancestors, he refuses to embrace the allure of the dark arts. Instead, he chooses bravery and the path of light. Growing up, Ominous felt the weight of his father's side of the family. Though bearing the name Gaunt, he struggles with the burden of expectations and a legacy built on fear and power. Ominous is different. His heart yearns for unity, understanding, and compassion. He rejects the prejudices that have poisoned his family's history. His desire is to set things right and wash away the sins of the past. At Hogwarts, Ominous stands out among his classmates. With a deep distrust towards the dark arts, he finds solace in connecting with others, drawing strength from the bonds of friendship. Ominous, Ominous. I don't like you. Look, he's got blonde hair too. He's definitely the Draco of this game. He just disappeared, went down in there. Yeah, what a dick. Not gonna like that guy. Probably gonna end up fighting that dude. Let's go, let's get it. The Room of Requirement, also known as the Come and Go Room, is a chamber within the school. But what exactly is it? This extraordinary room has the ability to transform itself into whatever the occupant needs at that particular moment. From a broom closet to a secret library or even a place to train for Quidditch, the Room of Requirement adapts to fulfill the desires and requirements of those who seek it. Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. We're learning Evanesco. I'm not familiar with this spell. I've never heard of it. Evanesco. Cast Evanesco on the obstacle. Excellent Whoa. work. <laughs> you yeah. note that you are now in possession wow. of Wow, that worked really well. But let's go and explore this place. It looks so cool. In the Harry Potter books, Harry first found out about the Room of Requirement from Dobby the House Elf, who had used it himself when his friend Winky was really drunk and needed a place to nurse a hangover. Spinny globe! I love me a spinny globe, everyone knows that. The beauty of the Room of Requirement is that it can adjust to anything you need without asking. Even Fred and George's Martyrs map couldn't tell you who was inside it because of its protection. Hey, a, a toilet? What's the toilet doing? <laughs> it's the Room of Requirement, you know? When you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> oh, there's those candles that have been floating around. Hopefully the elf is down this way, because this is... This is gonna fall any second. Look at look at how precarious this is. Oh, there he is. There's the elf. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Deke and Mrs. Weasley have been friends since she was a student at Hogwarts, and together they found the Room of Requirement. As time passed, Mrs. Weasley became the deputy headmistress, and Deke had been serving at Hogwarts for a very long time. He held many jobs and responsibilities, and loves to explore the castle's every nook and cranny. Deke and Ahsoka will become good buddies as we play through the game. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. The Room of Requirement. We've got it. We've got it locked down. Deke's walking around with my boy Deke. He was pretty cool. Seems like a good house elf. Okay, cool. We're gonna we're gonna do some wall decorations. Conjure wall decorations, conjure floor decorations. Those are my two objectives, and they have five each. So I guess I'll just start over here. I'm gonna place these just so we can kind of get through this. I'm gonna move him around a lot later on, off camera, I think. All right, we'll just start up here. Moonstone, Moonstone, and more Moonstone. That's what I'll need to create my own personal room. 
Crafting stations are going to be my best friend when I need potions and combat plants. I end up building a massive grow room later on in the game. Now let's get out of this boring ass mission. Let's go to the next one. Okay, made it to Professor Fig's office. Here we are again, here we are. To see you. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes, which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Wow, dude, this is so awesome. The map room, look at that, you can see the mountains, and it's all shiny and neon, and it's like, this is so cool. How far do we gotta travel? We gotta go all the way up past Hogsmeade. This is Hogsmeade right here. We gotta go all the way up, unknown territory. This is gonna be great. It's a long ways to travel. So let's get it done, let's get it. Devised by a keeper of the ancient magic, keeper trials are a series of extraordinary challenges that will test the limits of my wizarding abilities. Each trial is a journey into a realm of intricate puzzles and mind-bending illusions. It will be a test of my intellect, my wit, and my ability to think outside the box. Pensieve warriors, powerful beings who guard the secrets of the trials, will challenge me in ways I've never experienced before. As I venture through the trials, I'll unveil secrets, unlock hidden passages, and discover new armor and new magical techniques. But be prepared, my fellow witches and wizards, the trials won't be easy. They'll push me to my limits, testing my courage, my determination, and my magical prowess. Only by conquering these trials can I prove myself worthy of ancient magic that lies within. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. Here, there we go. Well Ooh, done. we got a bag of money. Okay, this guy's next. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to take out each one individually. No big deal. I don't normally do stealth, but I'm doing it today. I was hoping they had some sort of, like, invisibility cloak. Or, you know, this works too. It's just a spell that you can use to become invisible. Okay, I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. The other guy's gonna see me take this guy out. In a moment. <laughs> oh, shit. <That's> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I pushed L1 and R1 and used my special ability on that guy, but it turned him into nothing. Two more left. We'll take this guy on the left, and then we'll take the guy on the right after that. Okay. Dude, this reminds me kind of like Assassin's Creed. You know, when you come up behind him and stab him right in the throat with your hidden blade. This one, this one, Confringo. I just learned this. We're going to use Confringo. Confringo. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a good spell. Oh, miss me, bitch. Yeah! 
Oh yeah. Okay, that was fun. Cool. Don't imagine the goblins. What the fuck are you doing, man? Professor Fig, he's freaking out. He's he's glitched out on this wall right now. <laughs> Bro, come on, get off of there. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, great. Am I gonna have to restart? I'm gonna have to reload. Oh, dude, come on. Come on, Professor Fig. Come on. Come on. God damn it, dude. All right, I gotta go reload the game. Looks like we gotta search this tower. That looks like a goblin tower. <laughs> That's what a goblin tower would look like. Stuff hanging off it. Okay, we're getting some good money. A lot of loot up in this Welcome tower. Welcome to San Bacar's tower. What did he say? Did you say San Bacar's tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again. All right, let's keep following the HUD marker here. It looks like it wants me to go down. I'm just going to jump off here. Nope. <sighs> There we go. Oh! What? Look at this bucket. There's a bucket in the way. Can I bring that bucket with me? <laughs> I want that bucket. Nope. I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Okay, well good. Ahsoka. At least one of us knows what's up. Yeah, she's got a different hat on. And a different scarf. She's looking pretty good today though. We've had our bad days with fashion here in this game. This is the trial of Percival Rackham. It's a little easier than the rest of the trials and acts as kind of a guide for future trials. It shows you how ancient magic hotspots work and I'll have to interact with the hotspots and make my way to the first battle with the Pensieve Protectors. All right, I don't know what a water hat, a winter, sheepskin winter hat. I need to learn how to read. I don't read good. Oh shit, what's going on here? The stairs are moving or this floor is moving. Okay, maybe it's fine. We're going down. We're moving down. This is gonna be nuts. Once you get the hang of it, the Pensieve Protectors really are not that powerful. As you can see, I am dominating these fools with every wave of my wand Ahsoka triumphs. Okay, these fights are pretty easy. After I vanquished those fools, I made sure to check the room for loot and armor. Using Revelio pretty Revelio. much non-stop, I make sure to check around for pathways that I can reveal with Revelio. This area teaches you about the ancient magic archways that distort the area around me. Passing through these archways can alter my surroundings. I'll have to make sure to enter and exit the archways in the correct manner to unlock the puzzle, which will lead to the next chamber. So that archway just led to a chest and that was it. Okay, let's get back on this floaty guy. And we'll go around the archway and keep going down the hallway there. After many, many minutes of puzzle solving, I head up the staircase to fight a group of Pensieve Protectors. Yeah! Boom, baby! Oh, we got Big Bertha coming in! Oh, yeah! Eventually, I meet up with a giant Pensieve Guardian. But don't worry, his bark is much worse than his bite. Making sure to time my rolls and dodge his attacks, I use Protego to reflect the others. I eventually beat this huge mofo, and now the trial of Rackham Percival is done, baby, yeah! Wow, that was the biggest boss I've fought yet. I think I fared well. It is tempting, I know to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. It I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. So it looks like we've moved into the fall season. I guess each trial depicts a season. You know, there's four different trials, four different seasons, so I can kind of gauge on what we're going to do. 
Wow, that was fun. That was cool. That was awesome. Look at my little owl right here. He's the best. I've got a potion farm going on over here. Look at this. <laughs> we got potions everywhere. We got focus potions. We've got Edoras potions. We've got all kinds of stuff. We got stuff growing right here. Mallow sweet. We've got Ditney. We've got Fluxweed. Oh, yeah. These guys are awesome. Venomous Tentacula. Oh, oh. We only got about three minutes left to, to cook on those. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and collect this stuff. Where's the door? Where's the freaking door? Here it is. Let's head to class. We're going to beast class. Beast things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Deke. We'll check you later. I'm going to I'm going to beast class. We're going to go and learn about some animals. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. Guys, the measles. <laughs> What's in these other pens? I didn't even look. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Huh. Let's head up to Hogsmeade and meet Serona up there. We are going to ride the broom, I think. It's a really nice day. Let's hop on the broom. Nope, that's that was a roll. <laughs> that was not the broom. There we go. The Helmet of Urtkot is an ancient and storied relic forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It was created by goblins at a time when the goblin clans were united. A witch stole it and it was put in her sarcophagus. Ashwinder gang stole it from the sarcophagus and kept it in a camp. Bogdok wants to steal it from the Ashwinders, hoping that it can be given as a gift to Ranrock to distract him from his search for the repository of ancient magic. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Lodgok! <laughs> That's a weird name. Everybody's got weird names in this game. This is my favorite spot. Oh, this dude's sitting in my spot. Yo, what are you doing? Here we go. Here's my beer. Oh, there's the nuts. Here's my beer right here. Chug it! Chug it, Ahsoka! <laughs> Let's do this quest drunk. Okay, I'm gonna go and walk to the Hogshead Inn. We're doing bar hopping today. Let's get another shot and a beer. The Hogshead Inn was a slightly disreputable inn and pub. Located off the beaten path, the Hogshead was always a fixture of Hogsmeade for several years. The inn is owned and operated by Jasper Trout. And the massive hog's head that's mounted on the wall will sometimes talk. The Hogshead was known for its cheapness and comfortable dive bar feel. Lodgok, yep. Hello, Lodgok. Serona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. You're not coming with me? God, <laughs> man. Just like a goblin, lazy as hell. Alright, Blobgog, I'm going in. <laughs> Look, even the game says equipping better gear will help you against harder enemies. I know, I know I should have better gear on. But nothing looks as cool as her right now. She's like two Raider, dude. Lord Croft. Uh, we're fine. We're gonna be fine in this cave. Oh, was that a rat? Did you see that rat? Gross. Oh, there's another butterfly. Now I got two of them. In this deep cave, I will be met with a couple of Lumos moth puzzles. The way to solve these is to use Lumos to carry the moths to the locking mechanism on the door. Okay, you just have to find the three butterflies and then put them on this door. Bada bing, bada boom. Nearby metal moths will be perched on torches around the room. I will need to cast Lumos and bring the moths to the door in order to open the way. All right, we got this moth. I'm gonna start calling them the correct word, moths. There's one. Come on, buddy. There's two. We got the third one over here. Let's hustle up, let's get this done. There we go. After opening these two Lumos puzzles, I will encounter a room within Fury. All right, let's get ready with our 
potions and our charms and our spells. I'm going to throw a tentacular out because I have a feeling we're going to fight somebody in here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Inferi cannot be damaged unless they're burned with fire. So I got to use Incendio or Confringo to defeat them. Okay, I think that's all of them. That wasn't too bad. I'm doing okay without any armor. <laughs> okay, that's enough storm. Go away. Yeah, that's really handy, dude. The Thunder Brew. The lightning and thunder you see is called the Thunder Brew Potion. After taking a swig of the Thunder Brew, I immediately see thunderstorms surrounding me, which will stun and cause damage to nearby enemies for 30 seconds. 30 seconds may not seem like a long time, but it works well when you end up surrounded by enemies and need a fix. All right, I didn't see this part. I guess when you hit this butterfly thing, there's another part that elevates. Look at that. I didn't, I didn't even see this over here. So I've been wandering around trying to figure this out. From here, I need to locate two more moths on the upper floor to open the door. I, I get kind of frustrated with puzzles and stuff in, in video games. Okay, there better not be another one. The witch's final resting place. Yes. Unfortunately, after I do that, I'll find an empty chest with a dead Ashwinder and learn that the helm has been stolen. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Tomb Raider! Ahsoka Tano Tomb Raider! That was fun. Kind of. The frickin' puzzles suck. Okay, we gotta return to Blog what Block. What are you up to now? Or whatever the fuck. Blog Gok. I don't give a shit. Blog Gok, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet. Only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I'm gonna go into the next wing and start building all the cool stuff that I just bought. I'm gonna build it all. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that, so I'll do a little fast forward action. Here we go. Throughout this playthrough, I will be redesigning the grow room up in the room requirement many times. Sometimes I get frustrated and don't like what I like and switch it up and the room of requirement is so much fun because you can change all of the decorations, you can change the theme, you can even change the lighting in the room and so that's really fun and cool and I love to do it. The only downfall to building stuff is getting enough moonstone, farming moonstone out in the wild, out in the field. It's everywhere around Hogwarts, in the forests, down by the rivers, in other villages, but it takes time and effort to collect it. Another way to get Moonstone is using the Material Refiner, which grants you 10 Moonstone every 10 minutes. Oh, oh, it's magic, you know, yeah, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna need a shit ton more of Moonstone. Yeah, and I added this. This is for the magical creatures. There are four different vivariums that act as attachments for the room of requirement. They offer a huge open space to build a village or play with my newfound beasts. I can conjure a big bouncy ball, which gives me the opportunity to interact with them. In the vivariums, you can build like a nest so the adults can mate. In order to get all four vivariums, I'll have to complete future quest missions. The four vivariums are forest, swamp, coastal and grasslands okay in the shadow of the estate that's where we're going we're gonna locate that on the map so we can get there i'm gonna fast travel so i don't waste y'all's time yes all right we got what 300 300 meters is that feet 300 feet 300 units of measure whatever the fuck hogwarts uses whatever the fuck magical people use <laughs> here in america we use inches we like our inches feldcroft isn't what it used to be no one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it. Okay, one second, Sebastian. I'm gonna look around your town. We've got people working the fields. Sorry, everybody. I'm just kind of stepping on your stuff. Hey, someone's sheep escaped. Whose sheep is this? Oh, look at these people. These people are just standing here watching everyone else work. <laughs> This is the lazy couple right here of the town. Maybe someone could come around and, uh, you know, pull some of these weeds. Get some of these weeds out of here. You could do some landscaping. Just people are too fucking lazy. You hear that, Sebastian? Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. 
but we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! Solomon Sallow, Sebastian and Anne's uncle. He used to be an oar at the Ministry of Magic, but he left the ministry on bad terms after using an unforgivable curse on a dark wizard. Following this, he retired to his home in Feldcroft, where Sebastian and Anne all lived together when their home was invaded by Ranrock and Victor Rookwood. Anne was attacked and cursed, which left her in constant pain, forcing her to stay home from Hogwarts. Solomon tried everything to cure Anne, but after countless failed attempts, he came to accept that she could not be cured and decided simply to keep her comfortable. Sebastian, on the other hand, had other plans. It's all backwards. <laughs> Look at that. It looks like he's wearing a skirt. <laughs> oh, man. Feldcraft, what a weird town. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <sighs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Okay, we're, we're going through like a ravine here. Up there. On that plateau is where they cursed Anne. This way. After fighting a bunch of mean goblins, Sebastian and I then went where Anne was cursed. And had to defeat more of Ranrock's loyalists. Come on back, guy. I know you're still out here. This dude's a pussy. He's hiding. Uh, and we something? found out that those loyalists were digging for something. Only one way to find out. Oh, way ahead of you, dude. There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. After going down a weird hole in the floor, we run across some bookcases that I need to explode to get out of the way. And Lumos is your best defender against this, Devil's Snare. Stop moving, both of you. This is Devil's Snare. You have to relax. If you don't, it'll only kill you faster. Kill us faster? Oh, now I can relax. I found a passage behind a crystallized stone that led to the Undercroft. There, we discovered a bit of parchment with ruins and symbols. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Sebastian now thinks that ancient magic can transfigure more than just the physical world. And he's going to try and use the ancient magic to cure his sister. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry. I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. Salazar Slytherin scriptorium. That's what Sebastian is talking about right now. And it's a room, a hidden study that Salazar had long ago, hundreds of years ago, and we'll do a whole main quest mission to find Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium later on in the game. But we are late. We are late for astronomy class. We gotta go all the way up to the tower. We are freaking late. Let's do it. The astronomy OWL exam took place in the astronomy tower. The exam is pretty easy and students were only required to fill out a star chart. However, Dolores Umbridge, John Dolish, and multiple other Ministry of Magic officials attacked Hagrid during this exam, and the resulting skirmish caused several Aurors and Professor McGonagall to be severely injured. Fang, which is Hagrid's huge, awesome, really cool, like, bloodhound dog, he was also injured, and that is the saddest part of this whole thing. The fifth years who were taking the test just sat there and witnessed their teachers violently fighting each other. Never a dull moment here at Hogwarts. I hope I got all my books and everything. I hope Ahsoka didn't forget stuff. Looks like those kids just got done with their class. All right. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. 
Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. <laughs> this is that dude that wouldn't shut up out on the shuffleboard table out in front of Hogwarts. I remember him. I had to play him for something. For one of a side mission or something. He's a bitch, man. Okay, we gotta go back downstairs. It's super cold up here. We gotta go find a Meads telescope in the storage area. Oh shit, what? Dude, the minimap was telling me to go downstairs. What the fuck? What is going on? So it's just, it's right below me. Okay, maybe I was going down the wrong stairs. Oh my god, I'm already lost. So, it's on the other side of this wall, somehow. Okay, I guess, apparently it's a, a smaller set of stairs somewhere. I don't know why they put this so hard to find. Oh, it's right here, okay. I can't... <laughs> it's right in front of my face, God damn it! I suck. I suck at gaming. What is that? Oh, that's the telescope, okay. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Oh, no need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite Lewis. belong. Astronomy tables are a type of collectible. As I explore the map, I'll find these contraptions that allow me to take a break from the game and gaze upon the stars. I mean... I mean, this is taking forever, dude. I'm hungover, and I just want to get this over with. So... Find the astronomy table. Where the fuck is the astronomy table? Oh, maybe it's up on top. For some reason, during this time, I couldn't find where the astronomy table was. Uh, that could be a couple reasons. One of the main reasons is because I'm a dumbass, and I get frustrated at video games. All you gotta do is just break these boxes in front of this door. You just break these boxes. And it reveals this door right here. Pretty frustrating on that Avelia. one, man. Okay, we're almost there. Look, there's a table. Where I the think fuck is a meat? If I move the stick around on my controller, I need to try and align them. Good loot is awarded every time you solve these, but once again, they are kind of annoying and consume a lot of time. So it's up to you if you want the good loot or not. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. We'll catch you later, my friend. Thank you for the telescope. You're a good kid. Did you know there is a convenient door at the top of Ravenclaw Tower? Made only for Ravenclaw students, this door can come in handy when you're late for defense against the dark arts class. As we all know, head idiot Black has canceled Quidditch, so there will be no throwing of the quaffle or beating of the bulger. But never fear, there is other fun flying stuff we can do. I can take on Madame Kagawa's side quest for added challenges and rewards. Or I can head up to Spit Witch's sporting needs to upgrade my broom and buy gear. Broom racing in Hogwarts Legacy is, well, pretty boring. But if you want to upgrade your broom, you'll have to suffer through these challenges. Amilda Reyes, the Slytherin Quidditch team captain, is a very good flyer, but kind of a bitch. New broom? Won't help your chances against me. I'll have to beat her in a broom racing challenge in order to be the fastest in Hogwarts. Yes, here we go, we're flying! Whoa! We're flying on the Hippogriff, yes! We are gonna get all the way geared up for this mission because I feel like that Falburton castle is gonna be pretty nasty. Look at this, Cobalt Adventure Ensemble. It's pretty cool. It's all blue and I got the blue sc matching scarf. She looks like a, like a pirate kinda, you know? Like with this little thing hanging off, like a... <laughs> A magical pirate. Any plants here before? Oh, hello, Deek. Deek, Deek. Deek, 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 Deek. We got some cabbage, some Chinese cabbage. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. Well, not perfect, but we got 31 seconds to go. Ditney leaves. What's up here? Maxima potion. We're going to need that. Focus potion. We're going to need that. <laughs> and the thunder brew. Always a favorite of mine. We're just gonna go through and collect all this stuff. Always do this before you go out into the world. The flux weed, we'll let that cook. These ought to be ready by now. Yeah, venomous, tentacula. Let's grab some moonstone. Always grab the moonstone whenever you're here so it resets the timer. Let's head down to the Great Hall and break up an argument between Sebastian and his buddy. 
who I don't like. Ominous, just kind of a douche. If you're wondering why my mini-map is glowing like that, it's because I swallowed Felix Felicis. This incredible concoction increases the luck of its drinker and will let me spot all the large loot chests on my mini-map. To brew a batch of Felix Felicis, I will need a lacewing fly and a fluxwing stamp. The effect lasts for a full day, but I should say, the Felix Felicis potion is exclusive to PlayStation 5 users who pre-ordered the game. I'm gonna head down to the Great Hall. Let's hit it! <laughs> this dude looks high as hell. This guy is so high right now. <laughs> he's just staring at that statue. <laughs> he took an edible and now he's like, oh, where am I? <laughs> That's so cool. Man, I want to go to this school so bad. That's awesome. They did new decorations for a new season. Oh my god, I love it! Look at all the bats. The gross bats are flying around with the jack-o'-lanterns floating. This is so awesome, man. I love this game. Let's see what these guys want. Anything what you guys are you about? Anything should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Oh yeah, I'm familiar with that one. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. Well, perhaps I judged Ominous too soon. Sounds like he had a hard life. What are we eating today, kids? fellow students <laughs> look at this feast baby turkey legs we've got tomatoes okay I'm getting sidetracked <laughs> yes yeah, so we're gonna go way over here but um, that's a long trek and I'm just gonna fast travel Falbarton Castle is a ruined mess it's located way up in northern Hogsmeade Valley and is currently being used as a base of operations by the poacher pack Earlier in the game, Gryffindor student Natsai Onai followed Theophilus Harlow to the Hogshead Inn, where she saw him reading a letter bearing Victor Rookwood's seal. She needed that letter so she could show it to Officer Singer as proof of their collusion. So she tracked Harlow to Falbarton Castle, and that's where I pick up the story. Let's begin this quest. Psst, over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Hattie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. They did not mistake you for someone else, did they? <sighs> no, they didn't. Rockwood and Harlow are after me. Why did you lie to me? And what do they want with a Hogwarts student? If you can remember, earlier on in the video, I said this. You can either lie to your friends or tell them the truth. And I chose to lie that time to Natty. I may come to regret that later on. And I do regret it now. Man, I shouldn't have lied. I'm sorry, Natty. Ultimately, your conversation choices throughout the game will not affect the outcome of the game in any way. So it really doesn't matter, but I just thought that was kind of a cool thing. All right, let's try and get up. Up on top of this thing, we gotta climb up this wall, get up there somehow, I don't know. But knowing this video game, it's gonna be confusing as hell. Pretty much, I've gotta make my way through this castle or around the outside, just so I can get to the top and meet up with Natty. All right, jump up on top of this, go up there. Oh yeah, what a leap. She's got those good calves. The castle is filled with nooks and crannies, secret passageways, trap doors, all kinds of wheel mechanisms, gear mechanisms, and I need to figure out my way through the puzzle in order to continue. I'll Accio it. Nice. Whoa. Okay. Now we can get through that tunnel. 
Okay, what's in this big room? That looks as if it might raise the gate. What? What were you talking about? That thing? Oh yeah, no, 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 you're right. Oh, I know what to do. Okay, let me get the pulso. That big, long, cylinder, round rod looking thing will eventually open up the gate for Natty to come through. Uh, I think it's called a porticlis. Porticlis. I, I don't know. What is that? Okay, I'm going to try and get that chest real quick. Whenever I'm playing video games, my attention span goes down to zero. So if I see something shiny, I'm going to run after it and explore it and figure out what it is. So I can jump on it? Yeah? Yeah? Yes! I waste a lot of time searching for these awesome treasure chests that are up here. And come to find out, the reward is really absolutely nothing. Come on! Midnight Debonair Ensemble. Ugh, that's, I mean, it doesn't sound that cool. Why isn't it like golden, you know, golden spurs? I don't I have no idea what I'm saying. Wasting enough time looking for that treasure, I finally open the gate so Natty can come upstairs and join me in this castle. We find out that they've been holding High Week, a hippogriff who I have met before earlier on in the video with a student in B's class. High Wing! It's High Wing! They captured High Wing! They will pay! Now that Ahsoka is locked out from the gate, we have to make our way around the outside of the castle, up this tower, and eventually we have to get up to the roof. But, like always, there is still more puzzle solving, and I gotta figure out these stupid crates. I've been hauling these crates all over this castle, so we gotta figure this out. Alright. Beep! 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 Beep, beep. There we go. After using Petrificus Totalis on some fools, which is the freezing spell, I have to use my skills and Alohomora to unlock a lock. Like a task. You know, you are a magician. You should be able to just poof and it opens. Let me ask that. See ya! <laughs> oh, that felt so good! After getting way too much satisfaction from using Depulso on an enemy Woo! as I fling him off the side of the castle, me and Ahsoka finally make our way up to the top of the castle on the roof, and Highwing and her friend are waiting there. Okay, Ahsoka, let's finish this up. Let's go upstairs. We're probably gonna have to fight. Highwing, it's all right. There we go. There you are. Come on. A lot more. Hurry. Yes, here we go, we're flying! Whoa, we're flying on the hippogriff! Yes! This is awesome, baby! Woo -hoo -hoo. There's the Hogwarts Express! Must be returning from an unscheduled run! Oh! Finally the train! I've been wondering when the train was gonna appear. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh! Yeah! Look at this, we're gonna fly through the steam! Yeah, good maneuverability for high wing. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> oh no! Do not leave the mission area. It will kill you. It'll freak out. All right. Incredible. That was a really fun mission. I can't wait to ride around on high wing some more. That's gonna be so great. It's another beautiful day at the school. I advanced the story a lot. I am now at level 28. It is winter time. There's snow outside. 
Hogsmeade looks awesome with a bunch of snow on the ground. It's all pretty outside. But let's get Ahsoka dressed and ready for the day. So I thought we would put this on. <laughs> it's a Quidditch outfit. It's a Quidditch uniform. And there's an R for Ravenclaw. That's cool. Even though the Headmaster Black, he canceled Quidditch, we're still going to wear this because it's awesome. And for the quest today, what we have on the docket is this. Professor Weasley's assignment. She is going to teach me a new spell, a new trans transformation spell. That would be awesome. Guys, this is the house chest. Be included. And there's those tokens right on the top. I don't know. I can't remember how many there are. But once you find them all, you unlock this chest. And your reward is a really cool house cloak. And I'll show it to you because I got it. It's this one right here. Pattern house robe. It's really cool. It's got the house emblem on it. It's got Ravenclaw's symbol there. And it's awesome. And I upgraded this all the way to level 3. And I got... A really cool trait on it that increases your ancient magic throw. It increases damage. So let's head down to Transfiguration class. Transfiguration spells are magical spells that are used to change the form or appearance of an object. Transfiguration allowed a witch or wizard to change the form or appearance of their target by altering its molecular structure. A popular transfiguration spell is the Animagus transformation spell which allows one to transform into an animal at will. This complex spell takes years of practice and dedication to master. This spell is really fun to mess around with, but due to the precise nature of transfiguration magic, there's a chance it could go horribly wrong. If you do it wrong, the transfigured object could become half transfigured or permanently stuck in one state, leaving you stuck as a rat forever. Here we are, we made it to class. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. Now, you all know what to do. Okay, transformation. We're gonna finally learn this spell so we can turn our enemies into frogs or mice or rats or something gross. Or a butterfly, I guess that works too. Wow, was that it? That was it? <laughs> okay, I thought the class was gonna be longer than 30 seconds. Yes, okay, I think Sebastian said we gotta meet him somewhere. Because we've got nothing to do right now, so we got these two brand new missions in the shadow of the mine. It's all gobbledygook. Let's go to Sebastian first, because Blog Block's stupid. It's a dummy. Sebastian is waiting near the entrance to the Overlook Mine to the northwest of Upper Hogs Field. Okay, let's locate that on the map and make our way up there. I'm not even sure where it is. Whoa, okay, way up north. We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. In the Shadow of the Mine is the 33rd main quest within Hogwarts Legacy, where me and Ahsoka will infiltrate the Overlook Mine. We are trying to find an additional piece of the triptych. Here we go, we're gonna fight these idiots. Send it. Ah! The triptych was revealed to me during our trip back from Feldcrop earlier in the game. There are three different paintings that make up a whole set. Our goal is to find all three paintings and bring them together. Hopefully, Ahsoka and I will find one in this massive cave. But before we do, we gotta fight. Nice work. You too, Sebastian. You're a good spellcaster, my friend. Into the tunnel, the Overlook Mine. Are we ready? I should tell you. Rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. Yeah, luckily I'm really good at killing spiders. They are pretty easy to kill. So Sebastian, if you are not a pussy, let's go in here. You gonna complain some more? You gonna cry? You gonna cry? You want some wine? You want some wine with your cheese? Or some cheese with your wine? I, don't, I can't even make fun of him. Like, <laughs> I'm so pissed off that Quidditch was canceled. Hey, there's a guy right up there. I can see him already. Revenia. 
For better or for Let's try and get invisible, and maybe we can get these guys silently. We can do a little stealth action. Stealth isn't my forte, though. See if I can do oh, he got weak. <laughs> uh, goblins can suck my dick. I've got a dick. Goblins can suck. Working my way further and further through this awesome cave, there are these little slides that you can go down. I think there's like two or three of them, and here's one right now. All right, let's slide down this slide. Hey, guys, what's up? The enemy situation in this cave is pretty standard. We've got goblins, we've got spiders, and maybe we'll even see a matriarch spider later on. You know, I think Ahsoka, when she wears her Quidditch uniform, she performs better, you know, because she wants to be out on the pitch. But now she's in a spider cave. She'd rather be on the Quidditch pitch, you know, beating a, a quaffle, but she's in a spider cave. Of course, this wouldn't be a Hogwarts Legacy cave without a crate. I've got to move around this crate to get up this wall right here. Come on, jump on top of that. There we go. I heard Sebastian say something. I wasn't listening because he's an idiot. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy yeah, legs, freaky. or the soulless eyes, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. That's always freaked me out. Look at those people hanging right there. That's a little freaky. With the bats flying around? Ugh. All right, let's continue into this spider cave. Using the spell Reparo, Ahsoka expertly fixes this bridge. Well done, Ahsoka. You've been studying. After crossing that bridge, we come across a few more tunnels, a few more caves, and this guy, this spider, he's not that difficult to fight. He's just making a big fuss. Look at he's oh, almost fuck. dead. And he's dead. Four hits later. Using my favorite spell, Lumos, we walk right past Devil's Snare easily like it's no problem. And we come across a chest. And inside the chest is an unidentified item. Unidentified outfit. Cool. We need the room of requirement to identify that. The Desk of Description, which is a great name for a desk, does exactly that. Some gear items I find may not be immediately known. Their traits are hidden, and it's really kind of annoying. You have to take the unidentified gear all the way up to the Room of Requirement and put it in the desk. Only then it will show you what exactly it is. Not really the best system, but in my playthrough I've learned that witches and wizards do some weird shit. You ready? You ready for this? I got my Mandrake and then my Thunder Brew. I'm gonna take some Maxima right now. Drink that up, Ahsoka. We're gonna drink this. We're gonna get ready with the Mandrakes. Okay, let's go. Hello, nurse. Mandrakes are a type of plant that can be used in defense when in combat. You may remember Ahsoka planted some earlier on in the game in Herbology class. But mandrakes are very handy for matriarch spiders. If you use it, it'll freeze the spider for a moment, giving you time to attack it. Finally reaching the last chamber in this spider field cave, Ahsoka comes across something. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas yeah, piece. Yeah. Brilliant. I don't normally like doing this, but this next cutscene coming up is pretty important, so I'm just gonna let the whole thing play out. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. As Ahsoka looks around for a while, she finally finds the secret passageway leading back to the Undercroft. I w dude, I want a magic passageway to Taco Bell. 
That's what I want. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. Lumos. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. It's all gobbledygook. That's right. We gotta go meet Blog Blog. Blog Blog. Blog Blog the Goblin. Blog 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 the Goblin. Whoa. What's he doing way up, way up there? Nice. The goblins at, at Hogwarts? That doesn't seem right. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna walk up to the top of the astronomy tower and let's hit it. So this next quest, I'll have to meet up with Amit. Amit is the only one in the castle that can speak gobbledygook. And yes, that's actually what the goblins language is called, gobbledygook. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Logcock. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course! How exciting! I mean, well, might this be dangerous? Don't you worry, Amit. You're going to be with me and Ahsoka, but yes, it will be dangerous. And from the castle, Amit and I fast travel to the goblin mine in the southeast of the map. Logcock will be waiting for us there. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door, or a loitering loyalist. Amit and I can do this. I will await your return. Amit! Let's go do this quest together. Blog Block isn't coming in here into the mine with us, you know. He's a lazy ass bitch. Oh yeah, Blog Block, yeah, let's go and make some teenagers do all my work for me, yeah. <laughs> What did she say? Shit. How do I open this stupid freaking door? Just open the fucking door! Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? Books so really prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Now, when I was playing this quest, the frustrating factor was at about a 10 on the anger scale. It gets quite confusing trying to work out how all the pressure valves and elevators work. But you'll see what happens next. Once again, I'm at a point in this game where it gives you no... Oh, here we go. We'll probably have to light this. <laughs> Incendium! Yeah, just gonna light that. Steam works with heat. Oh, the door's open. Okay, I guess we're in. Use. Yes, use it. Don't be scared of me. I got your back. I'm here to protect you, man. Ahsoka's got your back, buddy. Using Accio on the pull valves will allow the steam to run through the pipes and open up other parts of the cave where I need to get. This entire cave is all interconnected by these pipes and steam generators, and the whole thing is powered by steam. But seeing one is something else altogether. Here we go. Let me pull this. So we can get on it. How on nice of you to stop. I've done this many times, man. I have gone into many caves like this. So pretty much, if you see this big steam-looking thing, this it's a steam generator. All you have to do is light it on fire, and it should help you get to the next chamber. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. <laughs> I love reading books. Man, I love reading books. Now, what do we do Avelio. here? As me and Amit continue to explore this underground cave, we're both wondering what the heck the goblins are building down here. And, you know, if only the magical world had any idea about Star Wars, they would understand that Ranrock is doing the same thing the Emperor did. There must be more lords around here. What 
could they be building? Probably a Death Star, dude. I mean, isn't that what the Empire did? You know? <laughs> they were trying to figure out what the Empire was building. It was a big Rebellion. ass Death Star. They're building a magical Death Star. Alright, look at look at the uh, look at the mini map right here. It says I can go straight. But obviously not. So that must be below me. There must be something below me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But yeah, what? A Death Star. Let me know I just if you said see that. any more plans. Each puzzle in each chamber that I solve only gets me more frustrated. Me and Ahsoka are just about done with this stupid friggin' cave and all these dumb goblins. Alright, I'm not fucking around, I'm just running. I'm just gonna fucking run. I'm tired of... I'm tired of the bullshit. Run, you always end up running out of inventory slots. Fucking video games. I fucking hate video games. <laughs> just kidding. Rebellion. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. All right, we got to go back to Blog Block. Finding our way out of this cave, me and Amit realized that the goblins are building huge drills, probably to drill down in the earth for something. And we will find out more about that later on in the game. Moonstone. Moonstone. Ma 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 moonstone. Run, run, Ahsoka, run. Run from the spiders! Let's go, we did it, we did it. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, catch you. Hey, Amit, it's okay. It's okay if you're not an adventurer. I bet you're a good author, so you do it, you write those books, and I will read them someday. Then we gotta go, we gotta go fucking talk to Blacklock, this fucking guy. During this cutscene, we find out that Bragbor, an ancestor of Randrock, was commissioned to build fortified repositories made of goblin metal by a group of witches and wizards. Randrock is searching for these repositories and the power they contain. He wants to take it for all goblin kind. During our quest, Amit and I discovered that the Loyalists are building enormous drills, presumably to search for the repositories. According to Log Gok, Ranrock has already discovered one of them and the power inside has changed him. He fears that if Ranrock finds the largest repository, it could mean a great war for us all. But, you know, <laughs> I still think that they're building a Death Star, but whatever. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. It's building day today at Hogwarts. That's Ahsoka Tano, I'm Dive Bar Gamer. We're going to build a whole village, a little tiny village in the room of requirement. Uh, I've never done that before, and we're going to see what it's like. And then we're going to do a mission, a nice quest, this one. Right here, it's for Professor Fitzgerald. She's one of the old um, headmasters that used to be a headmaster. So we'll go do that, and then after that, we're gonna go meet Sebastian at the catacomb, and we get to learn the Imperio curse. So that'll be awesome. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Now let me sh let me go in to my biomes right here. I've got all three of the biomes. We got the. I'll just show it to you. This is really cool up here. This is like the beach biome. It's very pretty. I already have some, uh, what are those, breeding pens? <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute! <laughs> Look at him! Here you go, here's some tater tots, buddy. Yeah, gobble those up. I don't have any ranch. I'm sorry, I don't have any ranch. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen a, a baby hippogriff. This is great. The other biome is a swamp biome. Like a moonlit swamp. It's really green and dark. See, it, it, it also says swamp right there. <laughs> so let's go in here and look around real quick. Whoa, where did all my Thestrals go? Oh, sh there they are. That's weird. Sometimes they'll run around and kick it around, but most of the time they just ignore it. Yeah, so that's the moonlit uh, swamp biome. Now for this next segment, I'm going to build a whole village 
in this area right here, the terrarium, the terrarium. I don't know what they're called. But I'm gonna do that in fast forward action, so let's get it done, guys. Let's go, 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 go. It was pretty fun, and let's go tour the village right now. Here we are. I don't have a name picked out for the village yet, but I've got a bunch of animals running around. They're playing. Who do we have right here? Scabbers. <laughs> What's up, buddy? This is my first time building in this game, so I was just kind of getting used to it. And you can't go in these houses, unfortunately. That I was really disappointed about that. Like, you could build an entire house like this, but you can't go in it. You know, I was, I went up to the door and it wouldn't go. And I was like, oh my God, no. I really wanted to like put furniture in there and stuff and make a little home. Hey, we've got another quest right here. The one that I talked about earlier. This one. We're going to go do this one right now. Yeah, I don't really come down here that much. There's no reason to unless there's a mission. It is cool though. You got a map of Hogwarts. There's the castle Welcome right there. Welcome back. Yeah. So I got to talk to this lady. Wait. Is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the Headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the Headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A Polyjuice Potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Now to find the headmaster's house elf. Wow, I did not expect <laughs> to be turned in or to drink some poly juice potion and to be turned into per Professor Black. I did not expect that. Yeah, poly juice potion tastes like shit. It does not taste good. It's no pumpkin juice, I'll tell you that. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <clears throat> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. During this quest, Ahsoka drinks Polyjuice Potion and turns into Professor Black. Now, pretty much you just walk around the castle talking to different students, talking to other professors, and dealing with their problems. So I fast forward through some of these cutscenes. But this quest is pretty funny. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. A uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Polyjuice potion may taste like crap, but it's very useful. You can swallow it and turn into anyone you want as long as you have something personal from them. Remind me of the password to my office. I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh. But Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Ahsoka is hilarious acting as Black. The Great Hall looks awesome, though. Look at this. <clears throat> Look at all the flags up there. That's new. Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Well, that was weird. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. I'm now headed up to Headmaster Black's office, way at the top of the castle. We've got to go through a ton of hallways and stairs, and we've got to get past the gargoyle by saying the password, Toujours Pure, or whatever the heck it is. It's French. Who cares? Toujours Pure. 
Oh yeah, here we go. I've never been up here. I've been all the way at the top of this tower, but I've never been able to get through the gargoyle. It's always been locked. So this is the first time I've seen this. This is gonna be sweet. I wonder if it's all the awesome. wizarding families have a motto. Yes, dude, here we go. Finally, the office. Yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks good, whoa. It's way taller than I thought. The ceiling is way up there. There's pictures everywhere. There's paintings on the wall. Spinny globe! Wooden spinny globe. Okay, let's do this. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Let's go up here and explore what's up here. Oh, this is where I need to go. That okay. must be the pedestal. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. Name of Fitzgerald's Keeper Trial. That's what this is, and it's pretty crazy. This Keeper Trial is really weird and long. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Once I open that book in Professor Black's office, I get transferred to this other dimension. And in this dimension, there's a town that I have to find my way through and I have to find Nama Fitzgerald. She's somewhere in the town and I have to avoid these big, huge death looking guys. What are we, what is going on, man? This is some kind of crazy ass stuff here going on. I guess we're gonna have to fight these guys? No, we're invisible so they can't see me. All right, I guess I'll just kind of walk past these guys. Whoa. Okay, that guy saw me for some reason. And I died. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to happen a lot. And he saw me. Dude, pretty much getting freaking annoyed right now. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I'm going to kill somebody! Ah! That's the way forward. Hey, we made it. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. Oh man. Is it the invisibility cloak? <laughs> yeah, one of the Deathly Hallows? The Deathly Hallows are three magical objects that are the focus of the hit movie, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. They are the Elder One, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. When owned by one person, they are said to give mastery over death. Some witches and wizards refuse to acknowledge that they actually exist insisting on calling them fairy tales or hogwash. There is a book though, it's called The Tale of the Three Brothers, and it may have become mythological over time, but a small number of witches and wizards still believe in this book and actively seek the Hallow's existence. Sneaky sneaky! That big guy is so crazy dude, look at him! It's nuts! Okay. This is the we way finally forward. Made it. Finally free. I don't know if now, this is where we're supposed to go. Where are you, Neve? Am I supposed to? There's a wand up here. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks like the Elder Wand. Very nice. It was said to have been the most powerful wand ever to exist, the Elder Wand, able to perform feats of magic that would normally be impossible even for the most highly skilled wizards. The Elder Wand's core was the tail hair of a Thestrial. Dangerously potent and fatal if you get it wrong, only a witch or wizard who was capable of accepting death could install a tail hair of a Thestrial. After fighting more trolls and bad guys, me and Ahsoka finally end up at Nama Fitzgerald's sarcophagus. We end up receiving the Stone of Resurrection and this keeper trial is done, baby! Yeah! Right here in the shadow of time, meet Sebastian at the Camico Catacomb. Let's see where that is on the map. I don't know. I don't know where it is. It's way down here. Whoa, buddy. We're way down here. So let's fast travel. You're Sebastian. here. Sebastian. Good. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. 
If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. All right, let's go inside the Feldcroft catacomb. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Don't worry about me, little guy. Little baby Sebastian. You're the one that's gonna lose your nerve, you bitch. Whoa, spiders! Feldcroft catacombs is filled with spiders and puzzles and so many different chambers. There's Infury in here. There are movable bones that I have to figure out. There's a bunch of puzzles that require me to move around these bones and solve it. De pulso, de motherfucking pulso. There it goes. I'm a goddamn magician, baby. After using dull motherfucking pulso to open that door, we come across another chamber with, guess what? More spiders. Where did they go? Where did those spiders go? Oh yeah, here they are. Right over here. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Where do we go from here, Sebastian? Sebastian, do you know where to go from here? From here, we move down some hallways, go around a corner, and we reach the first bone puzzle chamber. I recognize those bones. Leave no stone unturned. Or, oh, in this case, no bone. Here we go. See, and then it automatically builds it up. Nevelio. I remember messing around with these bones in another quest. Pretty much all you gotta do is find the bones, use Wingardia Leviosa, and bring him over towards the door, and they will outline the door, and it will open, and you can move on to the next chamber. Pretty simple stuff here in Hogwarts Legacy. Defeating more and more spiders and solving more and more puzzles, the bone puzzles, me and Ahsoka finally come across the relic, which Sebastian has been searching for in these catacombs. Ugh, that's creepy. Sebastian, the relic, look! We got it. Could it be? Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help her. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. As we're leaving Feldcroft Catacombs, Ominous decides to head back up to Hogwarts Castle, and me and Sebastian go to his hometown of Feldcroft. There we find enemies, and Anne and Sebastian's uncle, they are fighting the enemies, but Anne looks like she's not doing too good. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. Cool, cool, cool. Let's find out where we need to head. I think it's all the way south. Yeah, I've got it marked here on the map. And look at all that. All the way down here. Right here, here it is. So I'm gonna fast travel to this point and I'll see you down there. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. In a previous mission, a previous side quest, a centaur asked Poppy to come down here and do this. And I did that mission a long time ago. So I don't even remember it. <laughs> There's so many quests in this game. 
but we're gonna go and discover and explore this danky, stinky, slimy cave. All right, Depulso on the door. Boom. Let's go. Come on, Poppy. Try and keep up. After encountering the centaurs in an earlier side quest, Poppy, Ahsoka, and I search for a mysterious cave inside this cave so we can find the special moonstone. Oh, what are those? Oh, those are whoopers. Whoopers. <laughs> they're, they're pink. They're pretty cool looking. The former chief of the centaurs, uh, I think his name is Doran, told Poppy and Ahsoka to find the rare moonstone and that it could possibly save the endangered Snidgits. 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 I, I don't know how to say that word, so just bear with me. Yes. Lumos. Dude, that never works for me. I'm just, I'm just guessing. I've never done this mission, and <laughs> it usually takes me forever to figure out these dumbass puzzles because I'm the one who's a dumbass. Out of the way, Poppy. There it goes. Okay, we're... Yeah, we got it to open. Yes, yes, yes. Another obstacle. Oh my god, there's more I'm sure we can things. work out a way across. After expertly solving these moth puzzles, Poppy, Ahsoka, and I make our way into the deep dark cave and we're still looking for that special moonstone. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yes. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I actually did that faster than I normally solve these puddles, puzzles. Oh, dunk box, yeah. So what you do is you use Levioso. When they stick their, when the dug box sticks its tongue out, you use Levioso and then you slice them with the blade. I'll show you. I'll wait for one to do it. See his, his tongue's going up? Then you go, woohoo! Two, or that's basically one hit and they're dead. So it's a really good way to kill these guys. The animals we're searching for, called Sniggets, are a rare and magical creature in the world of Harry Potter. First introduced in the book Quidditch Through the Ages, the Golden Sniggit is a small bird-like creature with shimmering golden feathers. In the world of Quidditch, the Golden Sniggit was used as the original Golden Snitch before it was replaced with the enchanted ball we know today. Due to their rarity and protective status, Sniggit hunting was eventually outlawed and the Sniggit was given protective status. Known for their incredible speed and agility, Golden Sniggits are highly prized by Quidditch players for their ability to outmaneuver even the fastest broomsticks. Their appearance in a Quidditch match is considered a great honor and is seen as a sign of good luck. I just know it. Wow! Look at all these birds! There's green ones, purple ones, blue ones, and then you got this really badass tree right here. Oh man, I want to live in this cave. Screw Hogwarts, I'm moving here. Okay, my HUD is telling me to go up there, so maybe I can climb up this? No. I can't even get up. Oh, here we go. We'll just destroy these. Maybe there's a way up on this side. Doesn't look like a way up on this side. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very wonder. funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here. Assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. We found it! It's like staring directly at the moon. Yeah, here it is. Cool. Well, we should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. Okay. That's not very far. Let's... Oh, shit! Whoa! <laughs> I almost fell all the way down that that huge canyon. Wow. And I can't use a broom, of course. I always think it's funny when, you know, when you're playing and a character is talking and you just, you just walk away, you just run away. <laughs> They're still just talking to no one. <laughs> like, I don't give a shit what you're saying, dude. There's so much dialogue in this game. I, I you know, just kind of space it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a fun quest. Short and sweet. It it fast traveled me back to Hogwarts, so that was convenient. It's the middle of the night. Poppy's out here by herself. <laughs> you sure you don't want me to walk you inside? Nah, it's Hogwarts. It's safe. There's no gangs or anything out here. It's Hogwarts. Okay. No more distractions. It is time for the final trial. The final keeper's trial right here. 
So I am gonna walk there through Hogwarts and I'll see you there, peeps. The Graphorn is a large and powerful beast that sort of resembles a rhinoceros, but with gray scaly skin. It is native to the mountains of Europe and is known for its incredibly tough hide, which can repel most spells and physical attacks. Despite its intimidating appearance, the Graphorn is a herbivore and feeds on a diet of moss, lichen, and other mountain plants. It's a solitary creature and is rarely seen by humans, making it one of the most elusive beasts in the wizarding world. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbore's journals. He killed Loggog to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok, Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Hey, hey guys, hey everybody. Did you guys see my cloak? Can you guys see how glowy it is? Look at it, look at it. You guys don't have a glowy cloak. <laughs> Idiots. Okay, we gotta meet Professor Fig way far away. I'm gonna fast travel, so I will see you there. You're here. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? It looks like a grap horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I gotta go find the Lord of the Shore. Sounds like we're gonna be fighting a grap hook, which I have not fucked with at all in this game. It only comes, the grap hook you can only get after the last trial, which I'm doing right now. Holy shit. Look at how far it is. Very well. Yep. Lord of the Shore, show yourself. Against this guy. Okay, Glacius doesn't work. <laughs> I'll try this. Uh, resto momentum. Loading still. Oh, get it. Okay, let's just let's go. I need your help, friend. Here he is! It's the Grap Horn! Oh, dude, he's so crazy looking! Oh, man, you can walk around. Oh, dude. Look at it. Look at his horns and his spikes and his scaly skin. He looks so tough and mean. Look at him. He's got, like, tendrils hanging down for, like, like a beard kind of... Wow. This thing is crazy. I love it. Let me see his controls. So, yeah, yeah, you can sprint. Quicker. We're gonna sprint. We're gonna crash through this gate. Woo -hoo -hoo! The grab horn. Look at him run. This is awesome. Oh, <laughs> there you are. Here I am. All right. Maybe I have to. Yeah, okay. I gotta go and park in front of the... I guess I have to just walk up with him? Use the grab horn to unlock the chamber. Okay. How do I do that?
Did I go through this door with the grapple? <laughs> no. Okay, he's got to stay outside. Oh man, too bad. I like this guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the that's Bakar, the last keeper. After me and Ahsoka rode the Graphorn to the chamber and its presence unlocked the door, we went inside the cave. So pretty much the final trial is just fighting the Graphorn and winning its loyalty. Then there is a very long cutscene where San Bakar's pensive memory revealed the terrible truth. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. Isadora was experimenting on Hogwarts students. Ooh! The keepers confronted her and the resulting battle killed her. So after sitting through more cutscenes, Ahsoka and I returned to the map chamber and the keepers said that I have all the materials to build a unique wand that will open the final repository. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So we head up to Hogsmeade to ask Mr. Ollivander to construct the wand. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Could this finally be the beginning of the end? Ooh! It is done. I should warn you, I've never seen a wand like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. After receiving the wand from Ollivander, we enjoy a nice sunrise in Hogsmeade. But then we run into the king of douchebags. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. The final repository belongs to wizard kind. I've always said children should be seen and not heard. We listen to this guy spew bigotry and hatred for a while. He's pretty much the king of douchebags. <laughs> but then Ahsoka gets kidnapped. Finally, it's the final fight between Ahsoka and Victor Rookwood, the king of douchebags. This fight is pretty hard. I've got to use all my skills that I've learned throughout the game in order to kill this big, huge mofo. And so ends the reign of Victor Rookwood. Oh, oh yeah! Wow, that was an added bonus. I didn't know I was gonna fight that guy, but he's dead. Good job, now Ahsoka. Then, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what's happened. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's Wand. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. And there we are. All of the Keeper's Trials are done. The map room floor opened up and revealed the door where the final repository is waiting. Oh, oh you, dude, that's so cool. The whole map just sunk down. We can so, yeah, first Keeper Trial done. Or no, the, the last Keeper Trial is done. And in the next episode, we're going to do this, the repository, and hopefully fight Ramrock and kill his motherfucking ass. You know, I just love this Ravenclaw common room. It's probably my favorite. I've already kind of seen all the other common rooms, and this one is by far my favorite. So here we are. We're going to warm up our hands next to this gorgeous fire, and we're going to get stuff done today. We've got a couple quests to do. One of them is way down south. we got to go meet Ominous at a catacomb. So we probably got caves and spiders and all kinds of gross stuff. Then after that, we're going to go and defeat Harlow. Or hopefully I get to fight this guy. I really want to kick his ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let's not waste any time. We're going to go down south. Way down south. I'm going to fast travel. I think I've got a fast travel point right here next to it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to fast travel and I'll see you there. All right, let's walk up here and see what's up. Oh, there's Ominous. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? 
What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Chill out, Ominous. You can just hold on for a second before we go in here. <laughs> I want everybody to take a look at Ahsoka's cape. <laughs> look at the cape, it's awesome. Okay, uh, what, what did he say in Fury? Yeah, so that means fire. So we're gonna have to uh, put all our fire spells on here. Bombarda, blah, 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 and then, okay, we're good, let's go. So this is the cave that I've been in before in previous missions with me and Ominous messing around in here. There's spiders in Fury and all kinds of cool stuff. So I think I've already been in this cave before on another mission. I, I recognize all this stuff. Okay, here we go. Me and Ominous and Ahsoka make our way through this cave, fighting off in Fury, throwing bottles at people, and I'll need to watch out for spiders and other types of enemies. But Sebastian has been going through some changes lately. He has been going towards the dark side, everybody. Is yep, he is going full Darth Vader. And Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating in theory is incredibly difficult, but controlling them... He used the Imperial Curse uh, earlier on in the video, and ever since then, he's been, you know, crawling further and further towards the dark. So we need to find Sebastian. He's somewhere in this cave. And me and Ominous will work our way to find him. And these are kind of weird, like, doing this. I never know where to put it. It just kind of happens. I need to find a way up that ledge. <laughs> See, look at that. It just, I didn't even do anything. It just kind of started doing it. Accio. Bones. Oh, here we go. Here's some more. A lot of gross bones. Okay, go on to your thing. Yep, there it goes. Just did it by itself. Okay. I love magic. There's Sebastian. Hey, dummy. What's Isn't up, dummy? Incredible. In this next chamber, we're going to find Sebastian and his uncle and a bunch of inferiors just hanging out. Sebastian's uncle has no idea what he's been up to over the past few months. And his uncle is just finding out now. What have the two of you done? Accio Relic! Solomon, go! The Relic! You'll pay for this! So did anyone else notice any Star Wars fans out there notice that this, the relic in this game looks an awfully lot like the Sith holocron? Eh? I mean, it's a both, it's a pyramid and it's red. You know, they look very similar to me. Huh, that's cool. Okay, so we gotta fight this dumbass. Now that me and Ahsoka are stuck directly in between Sebastian and his uncle, and they're having a huge fight, it's, it's getting pretty awkward in here, but Coming up, Sebastian does something that is unforgivable. Ah, I won't let her suffer. Nevada Kedavra! That's right, Sebastian killed his uncle. He is a murderer now, and oh, Ahsoka no! and I are not too happy, and neither is his sister Anne. After Anne is finished expertly burning all the Infury, me and Sebastian make our way out of the cave, and he is running ahead of me, and I kind of have to talk to him and chase him down as he's running out of the cave. Just hold on, dude. Stop running. All right, we're probably going to have to follow this guy for a while. Yeah, so Solomon's dead. That was a cool battle, though. He was pretty easy to fight. Solomon's, you know, it wasn't that great of a wizard. <laughs> what an idiot. But now, Sebastian is a murderer. I don't know how I feel about that yet. Although he was trying, he did have good intentions, you know, he's just been trying to help his sister out, trying to get her better. But he just went too far, you know? Quest complete in the Shadow of the Relic. All right, that one's done. Sebastian, I'm hoping you get better, dude. You're pretty messed up right now in the head. Maybe go see a therapist. Maybe go take a nap. You know, a nap always helps. <laughs> okay, on to the next quest. That was pretty fun. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, the Harlow's Last Stand. Cool. I'm excited to fight this dummy. 
Where is he on the map? I have no clue. He's way down. Whoa. Okay, way over here. All right, let's fast travel to this spot. Okay, I gotta find Natty. Find Natty near Manor Cape. Okay, that's not very far. We're gonna hop on the old fancy broom. Yeah, check out my badass broom. It's one of them nice ones. It's like the most expensive one that I could buy. <laughs> like 5,000 galleons or something. Crazy. But it looks cool. Natty, where you at? I gotta wait. Wow. It's a full moon tonight. Well, I guess it is. You can't really see the moon in this game. It's not really, you can't like, just like you can't see the sun. <laughs> but if it, if it was up there, it'd be full. Hollow is likely around here somewhere. Oh God. I sense he is close. Where did she go? Where is he? What the fuck know. is that? You should look around. Oh, here we go. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight these guys. You know the children. Walk right into our trap. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Not even try. Yeah, this guy should be pretty easy. <laughs> Not too worried there, Mr. Harlow, you freaking loser. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got him. Woo! Harlow, you done, son? Okay, wow. Uh, we're back in Hogwarts. <laughs> Just took us right back to the hospital wing. Let's go talk to Daddy. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. Well, that was very nice of her to say. I like you too, Nat. All right, have fun getting well. I'm gonna go explore the castle. <laughs> Just literally forget about her. I don't even care. <laughs> All right, I mean, I don't even know what, what we have for quests anymore. In the Shadow of Fate, I don't know what this is. Let's go do it, meet Sebastian in the Undercroft. Okay, maybe we'll find out what is up with this guy. So I'm going to go and walk there, and I will see you there. Oh, Sebastian, where are you at? There you are. She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. On an earlier quest in Feldcroft Cave, Sebastian cast Avada Kedavra on his uncle Solomon, killing him. Sebastian is left with no cure for his sister Anne, massive amounts of guilt, and the fact that he killed the guy. I mean, this dude is pretty messed up. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne. I was only trying to help. I'll have to be very careful about which dialogue options I choose, as the results of the quest line will differ. If I select we should turn Sebastian in, then Sebastian will be expelled and taken away from Hogwarts, probably to live the rest of his life being someone's magic bitch in Azkaban. <laughs> but if I select the other option and prevent his expulsion, then nothing will happen to him. 
and I'll be able to learn all the unforgivable curses, including the killing curse. Back when I was making this decision, I had no idea that this choice was so important. We should turn Sebastian in. We must not turn Sebastian in. <laughs> Sebby Sebby Bastion, we are deciding his fate right now. You know what? I'm going to turn him in because, dude, he killed somebody. He could have made the choice not to use the Avada Kedavra curse. He could have made that choice right there. So, dude, it is murder. I'm not going to cover up murder. I'm willing to cover up a lot of other stuff, but nope. Sorry, Sebastian. You're going to jail, buddy. Dummy. We don't have a choice. You're right. You were right the entire time. I wish I hadn't been. If we do this, we may never see Sebastian again. I realize that, but it's the right thing to do. He killed his uncle. We've tried to justify his actions every step of the way, but this has gone too far. It has to stop. Very well. Ominous, I received your owl. What's happened with Sebastian? He's been expelled and will soon face trial at the Ministry. Although Anne wanted to turn him in, I think now she's torn. I confess I know how she feels. As much as we all wanted Sebastian to face the consequences of his actions, it will never be the same without him. I don't even know if we have any more quests. I think that's the last one, last main quest. Yeah, check it out. We cleared it. I still have a few side quests to do, but this series was all about main storylines, main quests, and it is done. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally completed all of this main storylines. I can't believe it. What a ride it's been. Today is the day, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing the final Keeper trial today. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to finish up the story after all these hours and episodes and all this playing and oh my goodness. Yes, but before we do that, we're going to upgrade my gear. I can upgrade the outfit. Yes, here we go. I got the Jabber no feathers, the Niffler fur, and the Toad warts. I've got it all. Um, let's see. Greatly increase damage with Incendio. Yeah, let's do that. I like that trait a lot. Oh, dear. oh here we go. <laughs> yes! She's, a, she's going for all black. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Let's stop messing around. It's going to be so much fun. Finally, we get to find out what happens at the end. I, we're probably going to have to fight Ranrock and all that. All right, here we go. We're going to go into the map room and meet Professor Fig. He should be waiting down here, right by the door. There he is. Professor Fig, what's up, my dude? Here we go, baby. Professor Fig, I'm with you. Let's work as a team. Let's work together. Let's get this done together. The Royalists are here. He cannot be far behind. You and I have faced worse, Professor. Damn right. We've been through a lot. Me and Ahsoka and Professor Fig. We're a trio. I hear somebody talking. The final repository is a place where the pain and trauma of Hogwarts students is extracted by an evil witch, Isadora, and stored. Every whisper of suffering, every tear shed is locked away within its walls. The amount of magical energy stored here is unfathomable. The Keepers have gone to great lengths to keep this secret hidden. They know the power that lies within and the pain of the students, and they will stop at nothing to protect it. But now, the truth has been revealed. The final repository's existence can no longer be ignored. The time has come for the world to know what lies beneath Hogwarts Castle, and Ranrock is about to expose it. Yeah, I swallowed some Felix Felicious on accident. <laughs> right in the middle of when I was battling. Another troll. Where are the oh my god, dude. These two armored trolls are pretty tough. But me and Ahsoka and Professor Fig make quick work of them. Using all our abilities that we have learned over this last game, playing all these missions, doing all these quests, and we eliminate these trolls pretty quick. Dude, just had to fight those huge trolls. No big deal, just took down two of them. No problem. Me and Fig, we're bosses right now. Nobody can, nobody I feel can mess you're right, with us. Professor. There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Yeah, this game is really cool looking. At least it's not super dark. You know, so you could see, actually. Some of these caves in this game are, like, pitch black. You can't see crap. Oh, gross. A rat. Get out of here, rat. All right, let's keep moving down this cave. See where we're going. Listen, more goblins up ahead. So far, it's just been a bunch of fighting. Uh, it's the student. 
After eliminating a few more puny goblins, me and Ahsoka and Professor Fig come across some recognizable characters from the game. Somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. Get them this way! We shall make quick work of them! Huh. They got this! Everybody's here! Woo-hoo-hoo! Everyone's here! All the this professors are here to help out. Where are they at? This is awesome! We're having a huge battle in the middle of this cave underneath Hogwarts. Did you get any more yeah, epic than this? Timing couldn't be better. That's a heck of a time. Thank you, Professor. Yeah, baby! There's Professor Hecket. Oh, she just apparated. What? Are those enemies? Oh no. Oh boy, it looks like we're gonna have to fight these guys right in here. Yep, here we go. Look out! Another troll! This one's worse than the last two. Stop him! Oh boy, we got a big old green troll! Let's get this guy done! He's going down. Got him! Yes, I got him! After Professor Weasley expertly saves me and Professor Fig from that falling rock, she puts it over the canyon and creates a bridge. Now the next part are these two huge mag ancient magic defenders. But Ahsoka has a hidden weapon. If you can remember earlier in the game, Ollivander made us a special wand, and that wand will come into play right now. I'm relieved we got here before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Uh, the arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this.
I need some healing potions. I didn't think it would be this hard, man. This is pretty tough. What's this over here? Is there a healing potion over here? Yes, there's one. Okay. Let's make our way down. Let's finish this guy off. Okay. Oh, we're sliding. We're sliding. Oh! You, you can't run forever, Unlock. Give up now. And I might ensure that your death is swift. Now, Where's he at? I'm done, dude. His life is all the way down. Fuck. Potions, dude. This better be it. Holy crap. That was intense. Just wow, what an ending. That was insane. You have completed the story of Hogwarts Legacy and reached the end of your school year. Yeah! Oh, we still gotta do the OWLs. Okay. Sweet. I think my favorite part of that whole ending was when Mrs. Weasley, Professor Weasley, she stopped, she pulled a Yoda and stopped that huge rock from falling on both of them. And then she lifted it up and put it into a bridge. That was so awesome. Wow. That was a great finale. This year, we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Allow me to finish. The loyalty of Helga Hufflepuff. The wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw. Hey! And the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's House Cup... Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. 
one particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits, hmm, I'd say, 100 points to their house. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the entire game finished. I had such a fun time playing this game. And look at them all. They're all jumping around and celebrating and stuff. I'm going to be making more videos like this on all the games I play on my channel. So stay tuned. There's going to be much more to come on Dive Bar Gamer. Dive Bar Gamer.